I wasted years of my career making stupid mistakes that set me back in ways I'm still recovering from. And the worst part, these weren't technical mistakes. They were mindset mistakes that nobody warns you about. So if you're early in your career, listen up. Because I wish someone had grabbed me by the shoulders and slapped some sense into me before these mistakes cost me years of progress. First, comparing myself to other developers. This one destroyed my productivity for years. I'd see someone on LinkedIn building some AI-powered, blockchain-enabled, quantum computing masterpiece. And suddenly my to-do app felt like a participation trophy. I'd read about a developer my age, pulling in 300,000 at some startup I'd never heard of, and I'd spiral into an existential crisis at my desk. Why even bother? Everyone else is clearly a genius, and I'm just here googling how to center a div for the thousandth time. But here's the thing, you're only seeing highlight reels. That impressive project, you didn't see the six failed attempts that ended with them rage quitting and ordering pizza, you didn't see them getting rejected by 20 companies first, or crying in a Starbucks after bombing another whiteboard interview. Social media is everyone's greatest hits album, not their blooper reel. And every second I spent comparing myself was a second I wasn't actually improving. Turns out, self-pity is not a productive debugging strategy. Next, writing clever code instead of readable code. Oh man, past me was insufferable. I used to think being a good programmer meant writing code that looked like I was trying to hack into the matrix. One-liners with nested ternaries that would make a Perl developer weep. Rejects patterns that looked like my cat walked across the keyboard. Bitwise operations that not even I understood three days later. I thought I was being a 10x developer. Turns out, I was just being a 10x butt. Because six months later, when I had to fix a bug, I'd stare at my own code like I was deciphering ancient hieroglyphics. And my teammates, they wanted to throw their laptops at me. Every code review turned into me defending why my incomprehensible garbage was actually brilliant. If you just think about it. Pro tip. If your code needs a TED talk to explain, you failed. Then there's chasing the next bubble. I have been that guy who changes tech stacks like most people change socks. Started with React. Then Vue was the hot new thing, so I abandoned everything to learn that. Then everyone started shilling blockchain, so obviously I needed to learn Solidity, even though I had zero use for it. Then AI blew up, and I'm taking neural network courses at 2am, like I'm going to become the next Jeffrey Hinton. I was a tech hipster, always chasing the newest, shiniest framework. The result? I became a professional tutorial watcher. Mediocre at everything, excellent at nothing. I'd bail on technologies right before I got good enough to actually build something useful. Meanwhile, the boring developers, who just picked Laravel or Django and stuck with it, they were shipping products, getting promoted, and actually making money. And finally, over-engineering. This is the mistake that physically hurt my wallet. I'd start a simple project and immediately my brain would go into architect mode. What if this gets a million users? Better set up Kubernetes. What if we need real-time updates? What if someone uploads a 4K video? And then I'd spend three weeks building a distributed microservices architecture with load balancers, auto-scaling, and GPU accelerated processing. The actual project? A basic image resizer for my portfolio. Something I could have built with Flask and PIL in literally two hours. And speaking of GPUs, most of them can't take workload or deploy AI models without wrestling with infrastructure. That's where the sponsor of this video, Modal, comes in. It's a serverless platform that lets you run compute-intensive Python code at scale. Training models, processing data, running batch jobs, without managing servers or complex deployments. With lightning fast cold starts and automatic scaling, you can focus on building instead of babysitting infrastructure. Companies like Suno and Ramp use Modal because it eliminates the ops headache while giving you cloud GPUs on demand. Check out Modal with the link below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you can keep learning from my mistakes.